this fall, my friend BJ and I loaded up the truck, put the canoe on top, and headed to the Yukon River to catch a bunch of dog food. Fishing on the Yukon is a fantastic opportunity. Um, once we got there, we put the net in the water at an eddy. We just paddled upstream a little ways, put his set net in the eddy. This net has, I think, five and a half inch mesh. It's only 50 feet long. It's got floats on top and a lead line on the bottom. And we set it in an eddy, um, dropped a rock off the end of it to anchor it uh, with a little buoy there and came back to check, hoping to find it full of salmon and maybe some she fish and a pike or two and maybe um, a cod, a black cod, or maybe, you know, some white fish, anything would be nice. But we had some trouble setting the net right. Uh, eddies are just so, and we had set this net um, clearly in the wrong place because there's fish all over in this river and if we weren't catching fish it was our fault so we pulled that rock up and pulled the net in and set it back out again and waited and we didn't catch any fish so we pulled the rock up and so it's no big deal we only capsized once like you've never done that Come on. We had both brought two pairs of dry clothes in case something like this happened and we were fine right away. So that evening we, we started catching fish and we set up the tent and on this beach on a beautiful evening the sky had cleared, the fog had burned away and we were left with this lovely fall cool evening on the Yukon River. So that night, we left the net out and went to sleep, hoping that we would get up to find lots of good things waiting for us in the morning. So the next morning we checked the net and we didn't just catch one fish or two fish. When you set your fish net right in the Yukon River, you catch a lot of fish. The way we uh, process these fish is we pull them out of the net, we club them on the head to knock them out and we pull a gill. And what that does, that's why there's all this blood on the fish. We pull a gill and the result is it's sort of like the, the fish has a, a, a stroke. I use an ulu to cut up my fish I learned how to cut fish from, in the village of Elam from some lovely old patient ladies who were willing to teach me, and uh, BJ uses a fillet knife um, to each their own. What we did while we were there is we filleted the fish and hung them up to dry. It was too warm uh, still to simply like leave the fish out and let them freeze solid. So one way to preserve the fish from rotting while we're, you know, keeping them there, you know, we're going to be there for a couple days, um, is to fillet them and hang them out to dry. And we took all the other fixins, the eggs and the heads and the backbones and pretty much everything other than the stomach and the urinary tract, uh, pretty much everything came home with us and we are ready to start um, cooking that up and mixing with dog food to create really 
nutritious and fatty and um, well-rounded food uh, right from right from our backyard. <laughs>